Hello, I'm Mr. Dufresne, and I'm back with the forum unit. This is lesson seven, putting it all together. This is the last lesson in the forum unit. Our objectives today, the students will use what they have learned in this unit to create an original piece. The students will understand what an introduction is or intro, understand what a coda or outro is, Understand that binary form is AB, ternary form is ABA, popular song form is AABA, and rondo form is ABACA. The students will understand that form means music is the same and different. Students will understand that a section of music can be represented as a letter for the purposes of analysis, also memorization. Students will understand what the main idea is and what the one, two, three method of composing is. The student will create a simple drum groove for the middle section of the song. The next part of this document, as always, is the study guide. Please refer back to this before attempting to answer any essential questions. Anything on this study guide could possibly be on the essential questions. And lastly is the detailed are the detailed instructions for the band lab assignment. Before we get into band lab, I do want to cover a couple things here. We are going to have an introduction and a coda or an intro and an outro as we did in lesson six. So I want to kind of go over that again. An introduction is a section of music that opens a song. It often has musical material related to the main part of the song. That doesn't necessarily have to be true, though. So just think about the intro, introduction or the intro as a, an opening section that can stand alone by itself. We want In this assignment, we're going to do a four-bar intro and a four-bar coda. So just something that sounds like after you're done with the first four measures that that sounds like a complete musical statement. Oftentimes I might compose the introduction first and if there's something in the introduction that I kind of like I'll take that and I'll make that be my first main idea. And a coda is the same thing but at the end. right? It's something that when you're done with that that coda that it sounds like this is done now, that your song is complete. All right, let's get into band lab and get started. Start assignment, teacher's assignment, MIDI instruments all the way to the left. I'm gonna slow the tempo down to make it easier as I'm composing. If you like, when you're all done, if you'd like, you can speed up the tempo when you've finished all seven or eight tracks. I'm going to click on the enable the metronome here so we hear the steady beat clicking throughout our throughout the recording process. And I go to metronome settings and I want this to be on two bars. That gives me eight clicks or eight beats preparation before I start. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to create an introduction. That's going to be my track one, and I want that to be four measures. Four measures gets us right up to number five. A bar or a measure is the distance between any two numbers is one bar or measure. Then what's going to happen, tracks two, three, four, five, six, will be the main body of your song. That will be either popular song form or rondo. That is up to you. All right. Then our track six or seven, depending on the, how long that middle section is, will be an outro or a coda. And then the last track will be a drum kit track that's, that works with the middle part of our song. So. All right, so I'm going to compose. And I'm going to have 
this be string it's a string orchestra pizzicato if you want to see enable the pitch then you can see the the actual music names the actual names of the music notes and if it's easier for you to see the the letters on the keyboard that's fine too I'm going to, this is kind of, I'm kind of between composing and improvising. I'm figuring out a little bit, but I'm going to kind of improvise this. So I'm not going to plan it out exactly, uh, but I'll get more into improvisation versus composition later on. So there's my introduction. Again, the instruments you can choose, strings, winds, brass, piano, or guitars. And at this point of the unit, if you've got something else in mind, feel free to go ahead and compose with that. I, I'm not, um, it doesn't matter a whole lot to me what instruments you use, whatever makes you happy whatever you kind of hear happening. Okay, so now, before you start your track two, you need to make a decision. Do you want to have a popular song form or do you want to have Rondo? The difference is you'll have, if it's popular song form, you're gonna have four sections before your coda. If it's if you choose to do the rondo, you'll have five sections, five tracks before the intro. Remember, popular song form is A A B A, and rondo form is is A B A C A. I will. I'm going to use rondo. That way, if there's um, students who are watching this video who want to do rondo but are a little um, might be confused by some of that. That's what I'm going to do. I will discuss the popular song form as I go and explain what that would look like if you were doing popular song form. All right. So first of all, I need I'm going to create on this next track the one two. I'm using the one two three method. I need to come up with the main idea. I need to repeat the main idea with a change. Step two. I need to repeat the main idea again with a change. Step three a. And then I need to blast off. A transitionary section that's kind of searching for a new main idea, not the previous main idea. You can do that all in one take if you want. I'm going to do it one take at a time, and I'll gradually add those four parts onto my track two. main idea to be two measures so re everyone's main idea should really end by seven and you know if you're in the ballpark that's good enough for me all right general music just kind of general concepts doesn't have to all be exact Save often. 
Now I'm going to repeat that main idea with a change. Save. I'm going to repeat that main idea again with a change. You might notice that while that, that first eight beats is clicking, I'm pressing the key here so that it so that it really starts. Sometimes if I don't do that and I go and just to start right on it, it doesn't sound. I don't know why that is. So I'm this is step three A of the one, two, three method. I'm repeating the main idea again with a change. Save, still moving the cursor. I'm still on the A section. Now this is the blast off. So this is a transitionary period. Because I chose to do Rondo, my next section is gonna be B. If you choose to do popular song form, after you record this part, you're gonna copy and paste, and I'll talk about that again in a minute. So as I'm, because I know I'm gonna go on to a B section, and I need a new main idea, I'm gonna to try to find that in this blast off. So that's my blast off. So here's my A section. I'm going to listen to the whole thing. Step 3A. Using re repeated notes there. So now I'm going to add a track. Music clearing it down. All right, so if you are doing popular song form, what you are going to do is you are going to copy all these. So remember, I clicked there, shift, click, shift, click. I'm still holding shift. I hold it down the whole time. For all that, then I two finger, and then I go to copy. Then I go here, and I would paste it. I'm doing Rondo, so I need a new main idea. that last part, but I'm just going to see what happens.
idea kind of main idea had two kind of two ideas within it or it was you know my main idea was repeat almost repeated twice okay so step two of the one two three method is to repeat the main idea with a change Save. Step 3A. Repeat the main idea again with a change. Now, sometimes it fuses those together, and I frankly don't know why that happens sometimes, but it's okay when it does. If you don't like what you just played, then you can use this to slide that back and forth and basically kind of delete what you had before without deleting your first main idea. All right. I'm just going to do that again. I'm going to repeat the main idea with another change. So now I need my blast off is a transition section. Now can you see there's a space here and so I'm going to line this up right here. If I want to leave that rest I can and if I don't want to I don't have to. So I'm going to give myself that option by moving it here. If I move it here I'm going to get that space no matter what. So I'm not sure, I'm not convinced I want that rest right there. So I'm going to leave it here at first. All right so now I'm going to have the blast off. Again, this is a transition section. It is not what I've been playing. Something new. I didn't think that was the greatest blast off ever, but I'm going to leave it so that we can move on. Okay, now, so if you were in popular song form, you'd have A, and then this track three would be the same as track two. Because I'm in rondo form, now I need A, B, then I need A. All right, I'm going to add a track. And it's important when you're copying a track to use, to really use the same instrument for the most part. You can try other instruments, but if it's not in the same range as what you're copying, some of the notes won't come out. So I'm pressing shift, holding shift, clicking, 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 two fingers, copy. Go to where I want this. Two fingers, paste. So right now I've got intro, A, B, A. Oh, I need another track, and I need this to be my C section. So I need a new main idea.
important things about com composing and made ideas. You need to be able to play it back the way it was. It needs to be repetitive. You need to know it well enough so that you you can really repeat it. All right. Repeating the main idea with the change. Somehow I click the cycle button. I don't want that on. Now, step. 3A, I'm going to repeat the main idea again with a change. off. Right, I'm just going to improvise the blast off. This is transition section, something that is not like anything I've played yet. So far. Always be saving. Now I need, because I'm in rondo form, I need another A section. If you are doing popular song form, you're ready to move on to your intro or coda, outro. All right, so if you're a popular song form, you've got A, A, B, and you copy the A section and paste it again here. In Rondo, I've got intro, A, B, A, C, and now I'm going to have A again. Now you want to remember, I had that, I had that flute sound, so I want that. Make sure I've got that instrument set up. Shift, keep holding the shift, click on each one of these, two fingers, copy. Two fingers, paste. Happening there. I added a track. I'm not sure why that's. Try this again. Okay, so now I've got A, B, A, C, A. Now I'm ready for my outro, which is just going to a section, a four measure section that's just going to close this out. I'm going to use the same sound that I used on the intro. And 
and I'm just going to improvise my outro. So I need four measures. One, two, three, four. So up to 55. So I tried to give that a sense of finality. Like when I was done with the outro, that it sounded like the song was over. Save. All right, now we need a drum track. And this is track eight. If you're doing rondo form and track seven, if you're doing popular song form, uh, I just started using this drum, this Latin drum track. Oh, and I really like it. It's got some cool sounds to it. It's got this kind of. I can't tell if that's supposed to be a ratchet or a guiro and I'm, I'm pressing the, the number zero so you're going to hear that a lot i kind of like that sound all right and i'm just going to improvise the drum track all right remember that the difference between improvisation is and composition is in an improvisation it's a continuous process once you start you go all the way to the end without stopping all right in a composition you can plan it out, you can revise it, basically kind of tweak it, you can rehearse it, you can record it, and then record it again if you want. Those are all things you can do with the composition. To save time, I'm gonna do none of those things and improvise it. I do need to make sure it's all the way back to the beginning. not following my own instructions sorry the instructions were to start the drum track after the intro now i will say i meant to say that if you want to play the drums all the way through you can um, i actually don't so i'm going to move the cursor so that it starts recording right here and that's where i'm going to start my drums
got my outro. All right, and that's it. Let's go back to our objectives. The students will use what they have learned in this unit to create an original piece. They will understand what an introduction in the code is, understand what binary form AB, ternary form ABA, popular song form AABA, and Rondo ABACA. Those are the forms that we've studied in this unit. Understand that form means music is the same and different. Understand that a section of music can be represented as a letter for the purposes of analysis, memorization, in general, just kind of learning learning a song. If you already if you know the, uh, that a song is a certain form, it helps you learn it quicker. And it also kind of can take some of the anxiety out of it. If you know a song is a song is um, popular song form, there's really only two different sections for that song. There's an A and a B. You just need to know what the order is. And we want to understand the main the concept of main idea and the one two three method of composing. And we created a simple drum groove for the main idea. Remember to come back to the study guide here before taking the essential questions, and please play pay attention to the highlighted areas. Thank you for joining me on the form unit. I hope you got uh, something out of this and it gives you some different ways to create more different types of songs with less musical material. All right. Thank you for joining me.